will cover the following in the next few minutes. You will need to prepare the following. Chloroprep triple swap sticks or cleansing solution as recommended by your healthcare professional. Gloves, micropore tape and recommended dressing material. Step 1. Wash your hands with soap and water. Step 2. Wear gloves before removing the old dressing. Step 3. Check the insertion site for any redness, swelling, abnormal discharges, skin damage or bruises, and any loose or broken stitches. Start cleansing the insertion site using circular outward motion. Use a new swap stick for each circular motion. Ensure the site is dry before covering it with dressing as advised. Use a piece of 1 inch micropore tape to secure the tubing to the skin near drain site. This will prevent tugging and dislodgement of tube. Wash your hands. Place the Prevec bottle on a flat surface. Indicate the fluid level and date with a marker by drawing a line on the micropore tape. Record the fluid level in the drainage record form provided. To check for vacuum in the bottle, the air vent must be compressed like this. When the bottle has lost its vacuum or is three quarters full, it needs to be changed. You will need to prepare the following. Gloves, alcohol swaps, and a new Prevec bottle. Put on a pair of gloves after washing your hands. Get these items ready. Next, clamp both stoppers. Slowly unscrew the drainage tubing and cleanse with an alcohol swab. Connect the drainage tubing to a new bottle and unclamp the stoppers. Add a strip of micropore tape for marking the fluid level. To measure drainage, you will need to prepare the following. Alcohol swabs, 30 ml measuring cup and a plastic container to hold discarded fluid. First, wash your hands. Open the stopper. Observe the consistency of the fluid and discard the fluid into the plastic container. Clean the stopper and spout with an alcohol swab. Squeeze the bulb flat with your hand to create a vacuum. Lastly, push the plug back into the spout to close it. Measure the amount of drain fluid and record it in the drainage record form provided. Wash your hands with soap and water after every procedure. Let's have a quick recap of what we have gone through. If your loved one experiences any of these symptoms, do seek treatment immediately. Contact your healthcare provider for clarification or advice.